here we go we're gonna actually exercise our right to travel in real time with our hero Wayman and his world famous little Camry let me just show y'all for the record we are fixing to ride out with these tags saying a bunch of bullshit dirty ass old right to travel tag from Trent James good buddy we're ready to do store hey, wait. And so here we go. I'm gonna take all of it. Oh, no. oh, get, <laughs> get plenty of documentation on all this. Look at that. <laughs> so what's that for? The picture? I got to watch the dog. In case any of us die on the way there and back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want front or back? Where are y'all going? Go get some water. All right, we got some people watching this. Looks like Kevin Miller is going to be watching. Michelle Feltman, Eric Plot, Clayton Stewart, Lauren. All right, hopefully I say everybody's name right because I'm illiterate. But off we go. And the little gold camera y'all seen on the internet. Real time. Why not show y'all exactly where we're going? Cause we don't want some sneaky ass police over here where we live trying to figure out where we at. We're trying to hem us up, we know better than that. But. Here we go. What's up everybody? There's Wayne. Hey guys. Me. And a little red back there. Right. Well. Off we go. Y'all ain't gonna have any idea where we're going because we ain't gonna let y'all kids us up. Like it would really matter because we all know it ain't gonna matter anyway. Nope. All I want to know is if you get me stopped, if it's going to take me to a United States court, and Hoover and Allison Company, the bat there's three definitions of the United States. Which one are you going to use for jurisdiction? All I want to know. Anybody, who's got the answer to that? Any of y'all? A bunch of y'all interested in this right to travel thing, man. Wayman says I shouldn't say right to travel, that I should word it as, why did you, re how'd you refer to it? My right to use my personal property for its intended purposes under the Fourth Amendment. So let's all quit trying to say right to travel. And start trying to repeat that or something similar to it. Cause he's got a point with that. We all know we have a right to travel, but all the police like to say, oh yeah, you can walk wherever you want. We have a right to property. Right, we have well, a right to property. As long as you don't use it to harm another, you have a right to do it what you want. Right now, we're going down the road, that way. Yep, that way. Anybody know where we're going? Bet you don't recognize that house. We ain't going far anyway. That's where the FEMA coffins are. But we are in one of the, oh yeah, we see FEMA coffins right there yesterday. No, oh. videotape. I'm gonna put that on Facebook. Like the around it? Like the casket liners? Yeah. Like we saw on the internet, like down in South Georgia and stuff. Yeah, they were all yeah. loaded up on the back of a trailer on there the back used of a trailer. be a bunch of them over there outside of Eatonton. Yeah, just like that. Just like them ones you seen in that video right there. They were on the back of a pickup truck on a trailer. And I was like, holy shit, look at that. FEMA coffin liners, right? And I said, Lauren, hang on, we're gonna videotape this. So we backed up and, uh, Backed up, dude was out in the yard. I was like, hey, what what are them? Act like I didn't know what was going on. What what are them things? He's like, they're casket liners. I said, yeah, like FEMA casket liners? And he kind of shook his head a little bit. And I said, well, where are them going? Where are you taking them to? And he said, can't say. So you can't talk about where you're taking them? And he's like, nope. And I was like, all right, well, I respect that. I appreciate it. Rolled off, you know. But no, wait a minute, we gotta go that way. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. So, somebody said a couple of things. We got a bunch of people, other people watching. I got Kevin Miller saying, just ordered my plates last week. Good for you, Kevin. You better learn how to explain what you're doing, how you can get away with it, why it works before you put them on your car. I agree with that, and that's about what I was fixing to say, I'm right, Winnie? I thinking that as well. As soon as he's about to say that, I was about to say the same thing. Y'all need to learn this before you try it. 
because not you can't just know all of that you got this right you have to know how to exercise it and more importantly than that you need to know how to represent yourself in a court of law pro se without a lawyer because the lawyer's just gonna throw you under the book under the bus man and y'all know that and the only way you should try this is if you learn enough law that you can actually go in and represent yourself and otherwise i mean and no matter what you use a lawyer you're gonna pay some kind of fine or something or you may have to go in there and pay a fine anyway the way i look at it and this advice i'd give anybody do it you get paid a, you get you get charged get a fine pay it so be it so what it's probably still cheaper than the scam of all the emissions and all the bullshit of the tag the transfers and the avalorum theft i don't know about where y'all live but here in georgia they get like seven percent of what they say the car is worth just to transfer the title and so you know, we're paying two three four five hundred dollars just to transfer the title that's before we go through all the mickey mouse of the emissions and getting the tag and man it's a scam y'all know it's a scam i'm not saying anything but he's right you need to learn all this stuff very well before you try it i, I know quite a bit about it but you don't see me exercising my right to travel except while i'm with somebody that actually knows how to do it you know walking to walk talking to talks two different things you guys and i've seen some of y'all getting in trouble and i don't like to see anybody get in trouble over something i'm trying to show them and i've actually reached a point where i don't encourage people to try this i encourage people to learn how to try it and you need to learn it before you before you try it by all means you need to rescind your driver's license guys you know as, as crazy as that sounds the whole thing's crazy you guys know if you study this is all nuts the whole thing is fucking nuts but it's it, it's right you, you you don't have a contract in play then how can i mean it's like you just going up to somebody and wanting to demand they pay for something you know you're going to make my car payment for me no i'm not we don't have no contract that says that you know it's that simple you're going to pay for this house no i'm not we don't have a contract that says i'm paying for it you know or i'm going to come take it from you no you don't have a contract that says, it's a contract the driver's license is a contract you get, it, until you figure that out i mean don't try this don't try it until you figure it out and you commit to that because if you ride around with a driver's license and try this you have committed to the contract you have a, a, an obligation to that you to fulfill that you you've agreed to with your dumbass signature god you guys know about your signatures okay let's read some more comments and i'll shut up <laughs> okay yeah, we got right. some we got Noah's watching us, and I can't say that word. Say this word. Who's that? Hey, <laughs> yeah, we got you. We see you, Z. What's up? And we got uh, Noah Carter giving a thumbs up. Hope is watching. Kevin Miller just ordered his plates. We got that freedom of assembly and travel speech is also free from Hope. Laura's watching. Mark's watching, Patrick Shockley's watching, Jimmy's watching, Kevin Miller says responding to Kevin Miller, already did that. Eric says be a free man and leave the nation is to the best solution I have found. Brothers, just keep, just, just being honest, we have never been a free country. To the right. Yeah, sorry. Time to wake up my friends, take the moment after you work out and I have to hit the thing to see what Ellie says watch this video and all evil here and he sent us a link and then Pedro is watching what's up El hot tub I can't never figure out how you yeah, pronounce the way you said hot tip hey what's up Kelly Birch and what's up Don Keith hey Kelly Birch hey Keith hey Keith yeah Keith hey. and we got uh, Don and Eric Plot says, I would love to promote your your plates on my network. It's good what y'all are doing. Keep up the grand work. Also look into natural law and answers that other dudes question. Watch this video, send a video. And Shane McClure says, what's up? So what's up, Shane? Shane's watching, Stephanie Smith's watching, Timothy's watching, Timothy's giving us a thumbs up. Don said, what's up, fam? and chosen tab is on and we have reached our destination yep right here all right there and there's a sheriff sitting where oh there oh yeah look at that and we're gonna jump out with our tag the way it is and we don't give a buck <laughs> i got uh, all right sitting here in the ac waiting on you all right you want to talk you want to answer questions we'll be right back well all right anybody got any questions
there's so many things that I could think to talk about right now. Um, well, are you a person? That's a good question, I think. Um, a person that's listed in the statutes would, you know, let's, let's lose, use a little logic. That would be a legal person, would it not? Okay. Well, if we can agree on that. According to Cornell University Legal Institute, the definition of a legal person is a non-human entity that is treated as a person for limited legal purposes. You can sue, be sued, uh, own property, and you can contract. <laughs> well, Timothy, I tell you what, there's no telling where we should start, bruh. Actually, I'm starting in, in here at Food Depot. Waiting on Corey to come back out. They went to go get something to drink or some ice or something. I can't remember what all they was after. But anyway. Uh, chosen, I really don't know about the, the 1611 King James Version remedy. Honestly, um, I believe the Bible... It was just written by men. Uh, you can say they were uh, inspired by God's message or whatever, but it's still written by men. Um, according to what I've been able to find, there's a, a Bible in a museum, and I think it's England. Uh, it's one of the oldest, it is the oldest manuscript of the Bible, and it's supposed to be something like 14,000 uh, differences in between it and the 1611 King James Version and there's even that more after the 1611 with all these new fangled uh, translations and stuff which you know uh, well anybody can translate anything the way they want it just goes back to being in control uh, controlling who and what and it's a, it's a, I guess you could put it, say it's a Roman conscript. They're the ones that came up with it. Uh, so it's just a holdover. That's why we have Latin and a lot of our um, stuff. Huh. Ooh. Well, God, how y'all day doing, huh? What forms, templates? How do I avoid... DMV contracts regard right to travel. I'm sorry, I don't have any questions prepared for my research right now. Okay. Um, Timothy, um, all I did, and I got a video, I rolled my happy self right on up into the middle of the DMV parking lot, got out, walked in there, and told them I wanted to give, voluntarily surrender my driver's license and state ID because I found out that it was fraudulently uh, conveyed to me between the, uh, the legal name fraud and the uh, not uh, I'm sorry, lack of full disclosure so I'm, I'm operating without one Holy Lord, woo! All kind of folks. Got all kind of people pulling in around me. And they all got these big shiny silver cars. Zap, we're trying, bro. We're trying. Uh, I'm, I'm in a foreign jurisdiction here. Uh, too damn many people. Jesus. I was coming down here from North Carolina a while ago, and, uh, and I called Corey, and I, I said, hey, man, i am got a few extra minutes. I'm going to drop by and say hello. And I made a mistake and put, uh, <laughs> instead of taking my usual route and then catching the 85 down into Atlanta, I punched in the address, and it had me going 35, 40 miles out of the way over into... Uh, what was that? Blue Ridge, Georgia, and, and uh, 
over in that area. It's crazy. Timothy, I don't have possession of birth certificate, and I need no need to order them. Next step. Uh, well, in order to claim the minor account, you're going to need to get a certificate of live birth and have that authenticated with the state. And, uh, well, here in Georgia, it's my understanding we don't have to do it federally because we have a 1776 uh, seal on it, which is, you know, a little higher status than the actual uh, federal secretary of state. Hello, John. Jeffrey. I hope you guys are having half as much fun as I am. <laughs> of course, I'll be having a little more fun. I got to go on down to South Georgia here in a little bit. My trip today is going to be about 252 miles. At least that's what it was last time I made it, but I didn't make this detour over into Atlanta, so I have no idea how long this trip's going to cost me. But anyway. Uh, Lisa, I heard you could drive with a passport, but uh, I think that's what happens is after you get a passport that uh, gets you uh, recognized as a state citizen and not a federal U.S. citizen, then uh, you have the, I hate to put it this way, the right to travel uh, that a U.S. citizen doesn't have because U.S. citizen is uh, supposedly based out of Washington, D.C., and they're just in, hanging out in federal territories, and that's where the, uh, the, the uh, zip codes come in. That designates a federal territory. Okay. I'm rambling about destination, sis. <laughs> hey, man, look. I am not really good at speaking, as you can tell. Um, that's Corey's, Corey's deal. Uh, well, okay. Chosen. Uh, definition of person. Like I said, it's, it's a non-human entity. It's treated as a person for limited legal purposes. Um, a citizen, well, you have, if you look at the Constitution, up until the 14th Amendment, you'll see citizen mentioned 13 times, and they always have a capital C. After that, you will, after the, after the 14th on, you'll see citizen with a small c. Uh, of course, now, a lawyer's going to tell you that it don't make no difference. But actually, it's quantum grammar, or syntax grammar, that uh, putting the sentence together correctly if you really, uh, if you really dissect a lot of the paperwork that's put into the court system, you'll find that uh, it's really full of fraud. There's just nothing there that uh, that fits together. Whoop! Here they are. They're back. Sure, I'm glad y'all back. I'm tired of rambling. proper noun yeah well that's one of the things they uh, they transfer words into terms and then they substitute noun and based language with verb based language and it's that's the fraudulent conveyance of language that uh, I talk about from time to time so hello Scott McAllister. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, bro. Careful of that paddle. Alright. That's my pride and joy. I can move on with that thing. Oh, what's there, everybody? I'm back. If you go straight and you take a right, you'll ride right in front of that police. You in it? Huh? You in it? Yeah, he's talking to somebody. Let's not poke the dragon today. All right, well, y'all see, he's right there. 
Well, you ain't poking the dragon, though, in case any of y'all wanted to see us get in trouble. It ain't happening. But. All right, I just got a text that one of our other friends is almost there. And uh, he's probably here. What's up, Timmy? Timothy, I just learned about that war castles. Hey, Lauren from Timothy. She says, hey. Hey. Left. What up, my dude? What up? Uh, pro now, 14th Amendment. That was also from Timothy. Did you read all these already? Uh, yeah, I went through them. Okay. Tried to answer a few of them. And we got Scott McAllister watching us, and Josh, and Fred, Guthner, and Jason Gibson. What's up, guys? What's up, Lisa? Uh, we said, hey, Don. What's up, Jeff Farley? You know who Jeff Farley is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he puts a lot of good stuff out. And what's up, everybody? Eric? What you all saying? Watch stuff. I'm gonna have to go back and read all them comments. That's pretty cool. So all we're doing now is uh, chilling in the red light. So we really ain't getting well. We're a whole lot right this second. We will be in a second. Watch this. We fixed them. Just break all the rules as soon as the light turns green. Watch. Here we go. Here it comes. We're moving. Look at that. Oh my God. We're criminals. <laughs> <laughs> the ground is our victim. <laughs> Man, this is so dangerous. I feel like Jesse James. Uh, I rode around for like three years without no license. With a warrant, then I can talk about it now because I used to not talk about that. But when I used to ride around, I had a warrant. It made it like twice as exciting. And I just got lucky. I didn't go through any roadblocks or nothing. The first time I went to a roadblock was like, well, uh, night before last. <laughs> and yeah, we're going straight. You can take this right away. So, so y'all know we really are riding on the road. I may not show you exactly where we're at, but we're riding down the road. Because I know how this Facebook thing works, and y'all should know too, man. Look, you start doing something like this and broadcasting exactly where you're at, all it takes is one of these cops that's watching us right now to figure it out, and they send somebody over here to just to fuck with us to prove a point. And they won't be proving a point other than how stupid they are because they didn't read the rules of the shit they're trying to force on us anyway before they went and did it off that attitude about they think they know it all because they've been brainwashed so exceptionally well because I'm not hating on you cops man I used to work with you guys a lot man and I know there's some good cops out there I know there's some really good cops out there and I don't hate I don't think anybody here hates cops nope I don't think none of us do yeah, for nope. any reason whatsoever I think only I think without asking them right now I bet they'll agree with me that really all we want to do is educate the cops you know, quit quit forcing bullshit on us, man. If we can read it, why in the fuck can't you guys read it, man? That's what I want to know. Like, if I can look these rules up and then all this dumb shit and everybody puts all this on Facebook, fucking search it, look it. You got Google, man. You got the most, you got the smartest thing in the world right there at, the, at your fingertips. Just fucking search it. Look. If you're gonna go out and victimize people, it's my thing, man, because that's what you're doing. And don't, don't, you know. I worked as a record driver. I wasn't the police, but I seen what y'all do. I seen behind the scenes. Don't give me that bullshit. Y'all don't know what we're saying is right. If you don't know that what we're saying is right, it's because you ain't read it. And don't act like somebody else is stupid because they read and they figure it out. I mean, this man's been doing this shit for years that I know of. And, you know, I, I'm like, I'm honored to meet this man because he's one of the people that inspired me. Like. Damn, there's somebody actually got the balls to fucking do it, not just talk about it. And, you know, here we are. I'm riding in the car one day. You know, like years later, here I am, hanging out with my buddy that I used to look up to so highly. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys do too, man. And, you know, a lot of you guys, we're gonna go left. A lot of you guys, like, come at me for advice and stuff. Man, I'm not the one. I'm the talker, not the walker. Wayman is the walker. He's doing it. There's a lot of you other ones still out there too. I know, you know, uh, Dottie, you know, Ladarius, um, you know, Pete, all y'all are doing it. You know, Henry was doing it. Henry just got hemmed up and I hate that Henry. We're gonna try to help you as best we can. And looks like we're right behind our company that's coming over. So we got another surprise guest coming on this live feed in a matter of seconds, because we're almost to the house. We'll go up here to this red light and we'll hang her right. And he's probably going, where y'all at? <laughs> Cause I'm not answering his text that says, he said he just pulled up. So right now, to the red light. 
light and then hang a right. So right now we're gonna get to rewind our cameras at home and our buddy's gonna be pulling up looking around like, am I at the right place? Nobody's answering my text. Nobody's here. They're wondering if he's at the right place. I'm gonna take a right right here. And we're gonna be back at home and our right, our uh, exercising our rights adventure is about to be over. But no more of that bullshit saying it's, it's fake. It ain't fake, we just did it. We are doing it. Not much longer, but, I mean, Wayman just came from North Carolina. So, and we're on the south side of Atlanta now. So he more than proved his point this morning. Fucked this little ride to go get some Dr. Peppers and some alkaline water. I know, I ain't supposed to be drinking Dr. Peppers, but I have to give y'all a little uh, hint of something that works for me. I get like, heartburn it's so bad it feels like i'm freaking having a heart attack right first time it happened i thought i was having a heart attack like indigestion and i could take a soda and turn it up and drink it real fast and it cures it just like that it's like instant heartache heart heart attack pill makes it go away and it works excellent so i keep dr peppers on tap and we are back home pulling into our spot here I don't know who that is. That's why I'm wondering too. You had somebody coming looking at your uh, motor. Oh, yep, that's right. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay, so our other guest ain't here yet. Or is he? Hey man, what's going on? Wayne, how's it going? Oh, for the motor. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I'm doing a live video, so let me cut this off and I'll get right with you. All right, so that's what we got going on. That's all y'all gonna get from us today. But there we are, we just got out of this little car. You'll see, boop, was not faking. No more saying it's fake, all right? Fuck y'all, bye.